Hey, what's going on guys? The Legend 27 himself here. And in today's video, we're going to be doing another top 5. Now, I love doing top 5 so much that I keep doing them regardless of the complete hate I get for placing them in the wrong place that some of you guys want them to. But regardless, it's a new year, it's a new start. Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. That doesn't make sense. Happy New Year to all of you guys watching this video. It is, of course, the 1st of January when I'm recording this, so I do hope you guys have had a good holiday season, and I sure hope that you got everything that you wanted. So, we are going to be doing a top 5 on the top 5 scout rifles in Destiny. I've just put them in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1 order. Not that I am actually ranking them above each other, but I honestly, I'm going to leave that down to you guys, because no matter which way I rank it, you guys are going to go crazy. So, I've just put them in any order, really. Just 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, countdown. I'm not saying one is better than the other, but you guys can go ahead and do that. We are going to try and smash for 30 likes. If that's possible, guys, you guys can smash that. I believe you can. And that really does help out this video and also my channel in the meantime. Remember to subscribe as well. We're so close to hitting some new goals. And I really want to smash it this year with the support of you guys. So what we're going to be doing is, first of all, some honorable mentions. Now, you guys may find these somewhat controversial, but I did think that I needed to keep them out of the top five. But these guys are just weapons that I like to use as well. And a lot of you picked them on Twitter as well. I just didn't feel like they made the top five anyway. So we've got Taluk and we've also got the Hand of Judgment. Two very, very nice scout rifles. The Taluk, of course, appeals mostly to the Stormcaller when it's fully charged. It has better stability, range, and fire rate, I believe. So it is a really good weapon with that subclass. But anyway, we're going to get into the top five. And we're going to start off with number five, which is Colavance's Duty. Okay, guys, now let's start it off in number five. Now, this is, of course, a Distant Star, which is the brand new Iron Banner scout rifle. Now, this thing is basically like a legendary version of the Mida, and it's classed up by a lot of the people that picked it up in the first Iron Banner. Now I do particularly enjoy this due to its fire rate and its range that work really well together and it actually does give you a lot of opportunities and power over most of the people that you come to gunfights with. This thing can actually be used mid and short range but short range is obviously not going to work that well for scare rifles so try and keep it to a long to medium range gunfight and you will have a great time with this weapon. I absolutely love it and I hope you guys do too. Number 4 now we're going to move on to the Jade Rabbit which is of course an exotic. Now the Jade Rabbit has an exotic perk called Fate of All Fools. Now the Fate of All Fools allows you to do extra precision damage shots after chaining some body shots. Which is a pretty neat perk as some people don't have the best aim and when they do hit the body a few times you can end up going onto the head and completely destroying them with an increased damage on your precision shots. So it does work out kind of well in the end. It also has a massive range and impact which is what you'd expect on a scout rifle particularly an exotic one and this weapon really Really does take the cake for those statistics. Number three now, we're coming in with the Cryptic Dragon, everyone's favourite red scout rifle. Now this was recommended quite a lot in everyone's top five that submitted their top five to me via Twitter. If you want to go and look where that is, by the way, it's just bulldog underscore erupt. Also, you can find that in the description of my video on my channel, so you guys can go follow me there. And if I ever do more top fives, you guys can always go ahead and tweet me your top fives. Now the Cryptic Dragon has a very balanced set of stats. They're all quite similar to each other, most of them edging just over the 50 scale, making this a very viable scale rifle in most situations. We also have a massive magazine which is great if you are missing your shots you're gonna have a bigger magazine on the opposite spectrum of missing your shots you're getting a lot of kills you're gonna have at least two or three kills worse in there Moving on to number 2 now, we have the Burning Eye, my favourite scout rifle. Now this is actually the new Trials one, and in the gameplay that you're going to be seeing, you're going to be seeing the Adept version, which has Snapshot, which increases the pull-up time of this weapon. So it is a really great version of this weapon. I don't find many of the Trials weapons, except of course from the non-Adept versions, which are like the specials that can't be made Adept. But I do believe that the Adept versions are must-haves if you are trying to run Trials weapons. The Burning Eye, I like to run it with Explosive Rounds and also Z moment which is great for extra damage and I just love this weapon so much so so much it's got a real nice iron sight as well and it also allows you to see the outline of enemies once they are on your crosshair so anything to do with trials weapons are amazing to me and especially one that highlights the enemies that is perfect for using in pvp 
And then last but not least, we have the Mida Multi-Tool in number one, and basically this weapon is just a massive fan favorite. It also has some great range, an awesome fire rate, and also the magazine is in nice size as well. This is literally a multi-tool as it says. It can be used in just about any situation, and even then the hip fire on it is absolutely amazing. There's not much recoil on it, so it is one of those guns that you can use in gunfights. It does have a bit of a flinch sometimes, but the recoil on it really does allow your bullets to come then quickly and hit the enemy perfectly. This thing can wipe out enemies with headshots because of its insane crosshair which is just a nice pointing up arrow. It is great for just any type of PvP player and if you're new to the game and you do get the Mida Multi Tool, I recommend sticking to that for the time being because it is a great weapon to get used to in the Crucible. Anyway, that's all for today, guys. If you did enjoy today's video, then please be sure to leave a like, comment, subscribe, share us on social media for more Destiny tips, tricks, news, and updates in the community. My name has been Erupt, and have a great day.